there was a passion between the two of us. A passion we felt so deep. We repeat these constant meet and greets as fellow sheep until we fell asleep. The Bible pages within our reach. So then we touched. We touched and we agreed. The problem was, we became lovers. And my lover was she. My lover was she. Someone who looked just like me. I was worshiping the creature more than the creator. And I'm being up front because I didn't want you to think that I would play you. I was blinded by all of these rampant emotions and flattering words. Words I thought I never heard. I wanted to be her rock. I was longing to be her shield. But what I was trying to give to her was actually something in me that was unfulfilled. Because I was not healed from the hurts, the anguish, the pain, or the shame. In my past, I was judged, I was told I was lame, and so I became this false image. Nothing but a blemish of fake stability, fake humility, hidden behind a mask of femininity that transformed itself into masculinity. Even as a child, I knew it was the enemy, but the enemy, the enemy wanted some kind of security, even if it meant succumbing to impurity, but that life, it surely couldn't be what was secured for me, before I was predestined to be more than a thespian that's playing the role of a lesbian, yo, I'm just saying kid, I'm not trying to be a phony. Because there were many nights when I was lonely, looking, almost chasing for anybody to bone me. And so I would go to church time and time again, plotting to catch this girl named Tony. I'm right there in the midst of all of this preaching and all of this teaching. But the truth is, none of it was reaching me. The part of me that was born, the part of me that was torn, the part of me that hid behind closed doors that I was exposing myself to porn. Come on. There was no sense of smell of the sin that was living within and maybe it's due to the fact that the church consistently pretends when the truth, our spiritual perception is this thing. I saw no ability to discern that I was burnt. My inside was turned out. No one saw the internal me that wanted to scream. It wanted to shout. Yet we would walk together <laughs> to this building. Our safe place where we congregate. As we imitate a people. We imitate a people that relate as we talk face to face. But you couldn't detect the struggle in my flesh calling me into the next room to masturbate. But wait, wait. Because it's never too late for us to truly relate. If we as a body indeed understand the message of his grace. You see, I've come to know now the real passion. It's the kind that's everlasting, the kind that's given without me asking because it surpasses those screams of wet dreams that try to lead me into deeper things, if you know what I mean. It was Jesus who loved me past the coercions. He loved me in spite of those perversions, and through it all, he promised there was no deserting. At the end of my tunnel, there was a light embodied in a man, the one that I know as Jesus Christ, the one who saved my life. 
And so day by day, I'm fighting against society's lie of an alternative life. Now, if there's ever a question as to what I am about, I am a Christ follower, no longer in bondage. And to you, I proclaim that it was the power of Jesus Christ that brought me out.